Hi guys, welcome back. It's Angie and this is our second video from the video series we create about the Advanced Product Options app. Today we will talk about rules creation. This is an uh, optional setting. Um, you may skip it if you don't require conditional logic, but in many cases uh, this feature is essential and it's very useful. Uh, to create a rule you need to have at least two options uh, created in one option set and please keep in mind that it's impossible to create a rule between options of uh, text field, number field, uh, file upload or date picker types because um, these types uh, don't, uh, don't have uh, values and it's impossible to use them as condition. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, you need to click add new rule button uh, and uh, first of all you can name the rule. This uh, field is optional. Um, you may find it helpful if um, you are going to create a great number of rules. So if each rule has its own title it will be easier for you to manage them in the future. So let's name our rule and start. So um, here you can see the structure. First you need to um, select a condition if, then you need to select an action then, and after you insert these fields uh, it will be possible to um, select um, the outcome. Okay, let's review the actions our app offers. As you can see, there is quite wide choice. Uh, the first two um, actions, hide options or values and show options or values, allow you to control the way options appear on the front end depending on each other. And other actions allow you to assign specific attributes to options or their combinations, which is also quite uh, useful. Okay, uh, let's review uh, the first two one first hide options of values or show options of values. So first of all we need to select a condition. Uh, let's uh, create a rule uh, that will make specific uh, colors um, hidden on the front end for um, some sizes. For example some colors are unavailable in in specific sizes. So let's say if size is small um, this is our condition. If the size is small, then we select action, hide options or values, and uh, then we need to select outcome. Color uh, gray, for example. So what we've got um, on the front end, if uh, a client selects small size, the gray color will become hidden. It will become unavailable. Mm, here I should add a very important note. Uh, we have a kind of limitation uh, related to uh, show and hide uh, conditions. So let me show you if we uh, try to create another rule. Um, for example, uh, if we select another side and try to hide... Oh, sorry, um, we need to delete this first. Uh, add action height and select color, you will see that there is no great color av available here anymore because it has already been used in the first row. So, so this is a limitation I was talking about. Uh, our app doesn't allow using uh, the same value um, as an outcome uh, if they have already, already been used previously. Um, what workarounds we may offer. Uh, you may mm, reconsider the structure of your rules. Uh, for example, uh, you can um, <clears throat> a list of the uh, sizes a specific color is available at. For example, uh, if we talk about the first color gray, you can list the sizes it's available at. For example, it's medium and large and select show options or values and select select gray color. So the gray color is available in medium and large sizes only. Then you can create a, a rule for the next color or what colors black and brown for black color. Uh, in what uh, sizes the black color is available in. For example, it's available in small, medium, in large, in all. Okay, we selected all values for sizes. Then again, we select show options and values and here select uh, color black. And the same uh, way we create a rule for the um, last uh, color. For example, our brown color is uh, available in Y size in large only. Again, we select show options and values and here select 
uh, the last brown color. So uh, now uh, our, our colors are structured and uh, each one will appear uh, only if corresponding size it's available in is selected. Uh, I hope this makes sense, but uh, also I can offer another workaround. It's a bit more um, time consuming, but uh, it's um, quite clear uh, and straightforward, actually. Um, what I mean here, we can uh, um, uh, create separate color options for each size. How can we do that? We already have a color option with uh, three values. Uh, we can um, duplicate these options two times, create two copies of that uh, color option. Okay, um, here we can remove the word copy assigned automatically. And here in the nickname, we can specify which color option is created for, for each size. For example, here we color for a uh, small size. Um, uh, so the second copy will be color for medium size and this third one will be a color for large size so after that you can modify the values the way you need for example this color for s you can remove the colors of gray for example that is unavailable for size s uh, you can modify the price so you can create such uh, option value color option values as you need for specific colors um, here we can also remove some okay and after that if you return to rules tab and create a rule you can uh, link each color to its own size value for example if size is s show options of s and we select color we created specifically for s size and all values okay next we create the second rule for m color if size is m medium or show options and values uh, color for medium all values and the next rule for the large color, uh, size show options and values okay color for large and all values okay this is quite straightforward way to overcome the limitation now we have uh, each size value linked to, to its own uh, color values uh, and they uh, can be modified here the way you need you can um, remove add more colors uh, manage their pricing so this is quite convenient a bit more time consuming but convenient okay uh, let's move on and uh, review other action types uh, here we have price compare price weight cost school and country of origin um okay uh, let me show you an example uh, with uh, these actions you can create rules um, for specific combinations of option for example you sell an item at a specific price um, in specific combination of color and the size for, for example if the size is let's say small and at another condition color is black then you can select price type condition here we have set price increase price and decrease price and set price is a, a condition that overrides the original product price and replaces the original product price with the uh, price value you insert for such a condition for example you selected set so set price assigned let's say twenty dollars and when a client uh, selects a small size and black color the uh, mm, price of the product will be overwritten to $20, whatever price it may have originally. But please keep in mind that if you use a set price condition, that price will be fixed. You won't be able to increase it anymore with uh, um, other paid options. So for example, if you create more options here and some of them will have prices, pri prices assigned uh, to the values, uh, this uh, fixed price set by set price condition uh, won't be changed anymore with the uh, uh, other add-ons okay alternatively you may remove that action select increase price and 
insert five dollars for example so in this case if a client selects small size at black color these five dollars will be added to the original product price and um, other conditions related to compare ad price weight cost um stock keeping unit they can be managed in the same way so set weight set cost um set compare price set stock keeping unit uh, these conditions are strict and they will overwrite the original attributes of the product and such conditions as append increase decrease they will be added to the original values so let's say set cool um, condition will overwrite the original stock keeping unit of a product and append stock keeping unit condition will add the value you will uh, insert here to the stock keeping unit of the original product and um, the stock keeping unit values will be separated by dash i hope you will find this video helpful uh, thank you for your attention and we'll see you in the next video and we will review how to assign our options to products there have a great day.